viewer, welcome to our Bible trivia. Have you ever known what a child can do in the house? You know, some of us parents these days, others are just sitting, some kids are sleeping, some kids are just studying. But what about the Bible? Now, you as your parent, what have you taught your child? The shortest chapter in the book of Psalms is Psalms chapter 117. And the longest is Psalms chapter 119. Imagine a kid narrating the whole of Psalms chapter 119 verses 1 to 176. You are the viewer there. Have you ever tried saying the whole of it? Take a look at this challenge. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I am Gracia Amaral Gibson. I am going to recite the shortest and the largest verse from the Bible, which is Psalms 117 and Psalms 119. Psalms 117. O oh, praise ye the Lord. O oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. I am going to say Psalms 119. Psalms 119. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimony and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes, O oh, forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? With my whole heart have I sought thee. O oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Allah, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Deal bountifully with thy servants, so that I may live and keep thy word. Open the mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgment at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed who stay from your commandments. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Princes also did sit and speak against me, but thy servants did meditate in thy statutes. Thy testimonies are also my delight and my counsellor. My soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me teach me thy statutes. Make me to go in the path of... Yeah. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness, strengthen thou me according to thy word. Remove from me the way of lying, and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth, thy judgments have I laid before me. I have struck unto thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments, when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding and I shall keep thy law, ye I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from beholding vanity and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servants who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach, we I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts, quicken me in thy righteousness. Let your mercies come also to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in your ordinances. So shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and I will not be ashamed. I will delight myself in your commandments, which I love. My hands also I will lift up up to your commandments which I love and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember the word your servant upon which have cast me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction for your word has given me life. The proud have me in great, great derision. Yet I do not turn aside from your law. 
I remember your judgments of world or Lord and have comforted myself. Indignation has taken hold of me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine because I kept your precepts. You are my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep your words. I ante I entered your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I thought about my ways and turned my feet your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. The cause of the wicked have forborne me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of coins of gold and silver. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I have hoped in your word. I know, Allah, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let I pray your merciful kindness be for my comfort according to your word, your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed for they treated me wrongfully with falsehood. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes that I may not be ashamed. My soul faints for your salvation but I hope in your word. My eyes fail from searching your words, saying, When will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment unto those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me, which is not according to your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully, help me. They almost made an end of me on earth, but I do not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to your loving kindness, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances for all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I will then have paid it perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen the consummation of all perfection, but your commandments is exceedingly broad. Oh, how I love your light is my meditation all the day. Through your precepts, I, you through your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, that I may keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I am not snared from your precepts. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore... Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicings of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evil doers, for I will keep the commandment of my God. Uphold me according to your word that I may live, and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up and I shall be safe and I shall observe your statutes continually. You reject all those who stray from your statutes for their deceit is falsehood. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dust. Therefore, I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servants for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. My eyes fail from seeking your salvation and your righteous word. 
Deal with your servant according to your mercy and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Time for you to act, O Lord, for they have recorded your law as void. Therefore, I love your commandments more than gold, yes, and fine gold. Therefore, all your precepts concerning all things I consider to be right. I hate every false way. A testimony is wonderful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth and panted for a long time for commandments. Look upon me and be merciful to me as your custom is towards those who love your name. Direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from the oppressors of men that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Rivers of water run down from my eyes because men do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Your testimonies, which have commanded, are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loved it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your commandments are my delights. The righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cry out with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep your statutes. I cry out to you, save me, and I will keep your testimonies. I rise before the dawning of the morning and cry for help, I hope in your word. My eyes are awake through the night, watches that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to loving kindness, O Lord, revive me according to justice. They draw near who fall after wickedness. They are far from your law. You are near all heart and all your commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I am known of all that you have found in them forever. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O Lord, revive me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn from your testimonies. I see the treasures and am disgusted because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. A loving kindness, the entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgment endures forever. Princes persecute me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I hate and abhor lying, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you. O Lord, give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise for you. Teach me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand become my help, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for salvation, O Lord, and your law is my dear light. Let my soul live and shall praise you, and let your judgment help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments.